the moment we've just left my house and we're on the way to Johnson Space Center. It's about a 20 minute drive away. And uh, as you can see, we're in a torrential downpour this afternoon. Um, typical of a sort of summer's day in Houston where we have really hot mornings, about 35 degrees Celsius and all that warm moist air bubbles up in the afternoon and you get these big thunderstorms. Fairly impressive. The interesting thing about this journey as an astronaut is that six years ago when I was selected by the European Space Agency, I was trying to be very realistic about my prospects of flying to space and you know I was a Brit and at the time Britain didn't contribute to the human spaceflight program and the European Space Agency didn't have enough flights to fly all six of their new astronauts so uh, kind of in order to protect myself I kept my expectations very low and uh, I just hoped for the best and, and went through the training with the, the, the most positive attitude I could. And since then of course um, I've uh, graduated from basic training and I've been assigned to a, a long duration six month mission. So the closer you get to space flight, and certainly in my case, the, the more optimistic you get. You uh, do all the training, you invest huge amounts of time and effort and emotional energy. So the, the desire to fly increases, and um, now just months away from my launch, you almost become more nervous of something going wrong and something happening that's gonna stop you from achieving your, your goal and your ambition of flying to space. Um, so when people ask me, are you nervous about flying to space? That's why I genuinely answer all the time, absolutely not. The, most, the thing I'm most nervous about is not flying to space. <laughs> 